If you're a sole trader or in a partnership, you'll need to pay tax based on your basis periods. This video is part of my Data Explainer series highlighting some important timings that you should be aware of. I'm Rich Smith and Thrism is my business, created to help your business. Basis periods are really straightforward. They determine the period over which your profits are taxed. Under normal conditions, your basis period is a 12 month period that ends on your accounting date. Your accounting year is also a 12 month period that ends on your accounting date. So it's fair to say that your basis period is the same as your accounting year. That's easy to deal with, but during the first few years of running your business, the rules are different and they can make things complicated. This is probably a good time to mention overlap profits. When you complete your tax return, you'll normally report on 12 months of trading during a 12 month basis period, which will be the same as your accounting year. Your first basis period, however, is unlikely to be exactly 12 months in length. And during those early years, your basis periods won't necessarily match with your accounting year. And until they properly align, you can experience some issues when it comes to paying tax. As a result, over the course of the first three years of trading, you might have to pay tax twice on a proportion of your profits, which for a startup can be a source of significant cash flow issues. These profits that are subject to this double taxation are known as overlap profits. The rules are set out in sections 198 to 202 of the Income Tax Trading and Other Income Act of 2005. They are set so that HMRC claims all the tax that they are entitled to over the life of the business and you only pay the tax that you're liable to over the life of the business. Practically speaking though, that means that you can end up paying more tax in the beginning through overlap profits, but less tax at the end through overlap relief. Overlap relief is where in your final year of trading, you can claim back the overlap profit from the beginning of your business. Essentially, you'll increase your tax-free allowance by whatever the overlap profits you paid at the beginning were, but this might not be for many years and it isn't adjusted for inflation. To determine the likelihood of having to pay overlap profits, there are a couple of questions that need answering. First up though, is the non-negotiable rule that your first basis period, the trading period for which your first tax return is based, is always from the date that you commence trading until the end of the first tax year, i.e. 5th of April after you've started. Things start getting complicated from the second year until the basis period matches your accounting year. Once your basis period matches your accounting year, life becomes straightforward because your basis period is simply the same as your accounting year. Until then, there are a couple of questions that you should ask yourself that are relevant to your second and third tax returns. Now, this can be a complex issue to get your head around, so don't worry, I'll be walking through some examples after posing the questions, but here they are. One, is there an accounting date in the second tax year? If the answer is no, then your basis period for your second tax return will be the tax year itself, from 6th of April to the following 5th of April. And then subsequent basis periods will be the 12 months to your accounting date. It does mean that you'll pay tax twice on a proportion of profits from that second year. If there is an accounting date in that second tax year, then a second question must be answered, which is, is the accounting date 12 months or more from the commencement of trading? If it isn't, then the basis period is 12 months from the start of the business and then subsequent basis periods will fall in line with your accounting year. It means that you're likely to pay tax twice on a proportion of profits during those early years. If the answer is yes, then your basis period will align with your accounting year from then on, but this might still mean that you'll pay tax twice on some of your earlier activity. There is one way in which you can avoid these overlap profits entirely, and I'll cover this in the following four examples. So, in example one, we have a business that began trading on 1st of January 2018. The owner selects an accounting date of 31st of May, but the first one isn't until 2019. The rules state that the first basis period is until the end of the first tax year, 
So the basis period is from the 1st of January 2018 to the 5th of April 2018. Now we must ask ourselves the first question. Is there an accounting date during the second tax year? The second tax year runs from the 6th of April 2018 to the 5th of April 2019. The accounting date isn't until after that tax year, so the answer is no. It means that the basis period for the second year is aligned to the tax year. The accounting date falls in year three, and the basis period now must align with the accounting year. So the basis period relevant for the third tax return is the period from the 1st of June 2018 until the 31st of May 2019. Now the business owner must pay tax twice through overlap profits for a 10 month period. Future basis periods will run from 1st of June to 31st of May and there will be no further overlaps, but the owner will have to budget for this double taxation in year three. In example two, we have the same business starting on 1st of January 2018. This time the owner selects 31st of August 2018 as their first accounting date. The rules are the same for the first basis period from commencement to the end of the first tax year. Going into year two, we ask ourselves the same question. Is there an accounting date during the second tax year? In this case, the answer is yes. So we move on to the second question. Is the accounting date 12 months or more after commencing trading? As 31st of August is less than 12 months from the start of the business, the answer is no, meaning that the basis period for the second year is the 12 month period from the start of the trade. 1st of January 2018 until 31st of December 2018. This creates a three month period of overlap profits in year two. In year three, the basis period aligns to the accounting year and is the 12 months ending on 31st of August 2019. Again though, there is a further overlap profits. This time the period is four months. These overlap periods will have to be budgeted for by the business owner. Going forward, the basis periods are aligned with the accounting year and there are no further overlaps. In the third example, again the business starts on 1st of January 2018. The accounting date this time is in line with the anniversary of commencing trade, so 31st of December 2018. Again, the basis period for the first year is the same and we ask the same question going into year two. Is there an accounting date during the second tax year? The answer is yes, so we ask the second question. Is the accounting date 12 months or more after commencing trading? In this case, the answer is yes. So the second basis period is 12 months to the accounting date. This creates an overlap period of three months that will need to be budgeted for. But now, by the end of the second tax year, the basis period and accounting years are aligned. So there are no further overlap periods. And lastly, the business owner chooses an accounting date of the 5th of April 2019, i.e. the end of the tax year. The rules are the same for the first year, and now we ask the question, is there an accounting date during the second year? The answer here is yes, so we ask the second question, is the accounting date 12 months or more after commencing trading? The answer here is also yes, but look what happens. Year two's basis period runs from 6th of April 2018 until 5th of April 2019. There is no overlap period, and now the basis period and accounting year are already aligned, meaning that there won't be any overlap periods in the future either. So, to summarise, if you choose an accounting date that does not align with the tax year, you'll need to budget for overlap profits, which could negatively affect your cash flow during those early years. You can claim that back through overlap relief, but not until you cease trading, which might not be for several years to come. The only way to avoid any overlap profits is to have an accounting date that matches the tax year. I hope you found this video informative and useful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to comment below. I love hearing about what you guys are up to. In the meantime, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course, do not leave here without subscribing to this channel. If you want to know more about how we can help or just want to say hi, reach out by email, hello at frism.com. That's it for this video. Good luck with your venture. I'm Rich Smith, 
and I'll see you next time.